Welcome back to a new episode on D-Pads Daily. We have two days to go before Christmas, so here we are, sitting casually on a Friday afternoon. Now, you might be wondering, it's Friday afternoon, and how am I at home? I'm a lucky duck. I have days off until the 28th, and then I'm working a couple of days, and I'm back off for the New Year's. So I get a good break. Lucky you. You get uh, official days off. As a business owner, there's no such thing as days off or days on. You're pretty much always working. When work calls, you go. But I still try to uh, balance it out and spend enough time right at home with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we get, you know what, we get, we get a good enough time because a lot of our trades are off during Christmas and there's only minimal things happening on site. So we still get a little bit of, a little bit more D-pad time. That's right. <laughs> during the holidays. So as I was uh, telling you guys on the previous episode, we do have a Christmas tradition uh, where we host our family get-togethers uh, every year at our home. And yeah, this year is no different. We'll have our, we'll have our family coming over. Uh, what do you guys have in mind for food? Yeah, you know what? So this year we're, so what we usually do for Christmas tradition is we go really big and we invite our extended family and it's quite a big celebration. This year we're just going to keep it small um, just because of previous events that have occurred and it's just uh, a couple of close families including my parents and things. So uh, we're going to have Drupid's aunt who's going to make the main meal. It's going to be a main vegetarian meal, the dish she's going to make. And so I'm going to make a couple appetizers. I'm thinking of making some homemade ice cream i have this really good recipe looks like so we're gonna try that out look at that you guys we still have a home phone and it rings <laughs> it's probably a telemarketer i'm telling you we won't pick it up <laughs> and that's the only person that calls uh that number nowadays right everybody has a cell phone and uh nobody really calls the home phone so we when it rings like that we just sit where we are sitting and uh <laughs> Let it go to voicemail. We continue with our lives. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my parents actually canceled their home phone. I went, do you, do you guys still have your home phone or do you just go on by cell phones now? Yeah, that's a good question because yeah. I don't know many people who need to keep it. I don't even know why we still have it. I think the whole reason we have it is a lot of the doctor's offices and, and other important areas have our home phone number. So we kept it active so we don't miss out on any important information. I think like uh, like Unity was saying, you know, we are uh, big hosters. Is that if that's a word? That's a word. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> we, yeah, we uh, we host huge parties. Uh, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be a regular Saturday evening dinner, but we don't know how to go small. <laughs> Um, so it's a constant battle uh, that I have. It's kind of awesome. So, <laughs> so uh, Dupad Mom, my mother-in-law, she is a really good hostess. She loves big parties. She loves celebrating events. And lucky enough, he married into somebody who's just like that. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, so nothing's changing. Yeah. <laughs> so me and my mom and Laura are a lot of like that way. We love hosting big events and like, you know, putting things together and bringing everyone together. So Christmas is mm. no different. When it comes to food in these events, uh, more the merrier. That's how uh, they seem to think. I think <laughs> definitely I don't like a lot of leftovers that we have to give to all our guests to take home. Uh, it's okay. I'll let them be. That's their area of expertise, it's right? It's spirit of the holidays. <laughs> we share our love through the food and we share our the love through gathering everybody together. Every year we have a Santa. So we're probably going to have him this year too. It's, yeah. it's D-Pad's uncle. Hopefully the kids aren't watching. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's really fun. Yeah. It's, it's a fun time and it's a fun place to be in the home during Christmas. Yeah. So usually uh, when we do all these uh, get-togethers, especially the Christmas tradition that we have, we play a game of uh, White Elephant, which is like a gift exchange. Everybody brings a gift, which uh, we pick in turns, and then we have the opportunity to exchange it with others or steal it from the others, and it's a lot of fun. So we'll miss out on that this year. Uh, we're keeping it small, you know, like Unati said, uh, because of my grandpa's passing. We're keeping it small, you know, just uh, spending family time this year, not doing anything wild. Um, but I'm sure in the future, in the years to come, we'll continue the tradition. Yeah, and then maybe we can share some of it with you this yeah. year. We're just going to spoil the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this year the kids are getting a lot of presents. Like it's all kind of around there. The kind of. that You see the tree yeah. and all the presents are wrapped up now and under the tree. Yeah. Well, yeah, another tradition, not a tradition, another thing we like to do during any holiday season um, 
We like to watch movies that relate to that. Like for Halloween, we were watching scary movies, even though we can't sleep at night after, we still watch them. <laughs> and Christmas is no different. So Yeah, my all-time favorite Christmas movie and my all-time favorite Christmas character is the Grinch, you guys. I So I have TikTok and I follow this one husband and wife and the wife does the most unbelievable Grinch impressions. Oh my God, I wish I could meet her. So... I, 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 <laughs> my husband this year gave her a Grinch costume for Christmas, like an early present. I hope, Perfect. I hope, <laughs> I hope to be at that level one day. <laughs> no, that's, I watched the Grinch for the first time, I think, with you last year. I know, I'm behind. I know, don't hate on me. Just, uh, I watched it and it was, it was really good. My favorite, uh, Christmas movie of all time would be Home Alone, the Home Alone. I think it's a series, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a series. Yeah. yeah, it's the Home Alone series. It's the funniest and just awesome. So I think we'll probably watch both of those this uh, uh, tonight and tomorrow, uh, leading up to Christmas. Yeah. And let us know what uh, your favorite Christmas movies are in the comments below. So if you haven't watched them, like I hadn't watched The Grinch, I can uh, catch up and we can watch those <laughs> together. <laughs> There's a couple. We were looking at a list of movies, and we saw like Scrooge and like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, which is a classic. So, if there's any of those classic must watches, then you let us know. And then, you know, since Christmas is only two days away, that only means one thing: Boxing Day is three days away. <laughs> and now, be careful. You know, if you are that overspending type, that's the day. If you can stay home, just stay home. You know, if you don't need something. Because let me tell you, if you get out there and go unprepared, yep. it's a recipe for it disaster. Can, yep. <laughs> we live in Alberta, which has the West Edmonton Mall in Edmonton here, yep. which at one point used to be the largest mall in the world. Not not anymore. I think it's still in the top five or ten. It's but fifth. Yeah, number yeah, five. Fifth, yeah. Right? But what that means is that's a recipe for disaster. If Correct. you walk into that mall, <laughs> it has stores from like Dollarama all the way to Louis Vuitton and Gucci. And so it can get dangerous very quickly if you spend yeah, the whole day mm, there. <laughs> mm. So I actually made it uh, a short a couple of days ago or yeah, a couple of days ago yeah. regarding some tips on how you can avoid overspending. So make sure to watch that. I've shared some good tips there. Yeah. One that I didn't share, which I should have, is if you don't need anything, stay home. That's <laughs> the best way. The You're not going to spend anything because, I like for us, you know, we we're most likely not going anywhere because yeah. I think we've already bought everything that we wanted for Christmas and and Boxing Day is a dangerous, dangerous excuse for shopping. Uh, and you know they have good good clothing deals as well because I remember yeah. as a teenager, my friends and I would we would make we'd make a day out of it. We would all go to West Ham and to Paul Mall and do a whole bunch of shopping. Mm -hmm. So they do have good deals on uh, clothes and things too. But I remember coming home with things that I never needed. Good times those teenage <laughs> years. <laughs> and then another thing we've been up to is eating healthier. You know, that's a big change we've made. I know most people wait for New Year to make all these changes in our in your life. Yeah. But we're like, no, we're going to do it December 1st, not January 1st. So he started it. And it's been pretty good so far. We've been eating way healthier, uh, cutting down on sugar, yep. carbs, yep. and just eating healthier food just in, in general. Yeah. Whether it's homemade or from outside. Yeah, we have been eating a lot less processed food and a lot less food from outside mm -hmm. as well, actually, like getting getting takeout because um, we're, we're lucky enough that we have Drupid's uh, mom who usually cooks for us. Um, you know, she'll cook the family family mm -hmm. meals. So it's great that way because when she's yeah. here, we don't have to cook much. With them being in India, it was Drupid and I that were cooking. So we were kind of scared because the first time we did this, we, we got quite a bit of takeout when we did this a couple of years ago before. But we were adamant this year. And I think we've only gotten food from like takeout maybe yeah. five times this whole month five and, six times and that was also mainly this week because we were both busy with work yeah. and we we're caught up so we couldn't we didn't get a chance to make uh, stuff at home but last week i know you made you prepared a lot of things over the yes. weekend and got it ready for the week uh, meal prepping was a big thing that yeah. helped us uh, so we're learning it's a steep learning curve for us but we're learning and <laughs> And uh, eating healthier. Yeah. And I'm already getting feedback that I've gotten skinnier. What do you think? 
Yeah. You see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, okay, so when you spend when you spend a lot of time with somebody, it's hard for you to tell. But one giveaway trait that we've had is the clothes. Yeah. Like all of the clothes on Drew Pad have been fitting him so loosely. Things that we've just recently bought. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense. It's not because of shrinkage or, or sorry, what is it? Like from it being yeah, washed in the washer or, or, or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's, they're actually loose on him. So it's, it's keeping us motivated. I used to also eat a lot of sugar. And I used to get lots of headaches almost every couple of days and I would have to take Tylenol to get rid of them but surprisingly no headache for me I haven't day. had a single headache for over a month losing weight and becoming skinnier is a plus for sure <laughs> but I think overall we want to make this our new lifestyle where we eat healthy because like they say health is wealth and we're slowly learning that you know that if you want to live longer achieve more and make a bigger difference in the world you have to be alive and healthy for that yep. so we're starting to give it importance and yeah. it has to be a team effort though uh, yeah. in, in our case both of us you know we push each other i still have tons of cravings for my sugar so we actually uh so Anati keeps me in check. Yeah, and we kind of eliminated a lot of yeah. a lot of the things like chocolates. Even during the holiday season, we've got a good number of baskets. So thank you to everybody who's yeah. given us <laughs> all these wonderful treats. But a lot of them are, you know, things that things that we can't really eat. Or what yeah. we'll do is we'll have one or two and then and then maybe we'll pass them on to the kiddos. If you're watching and if you have similar issues, you know, with your sugar cravings, dark chocolate is a really good alternate. Uh, it's really low on sugar and it actually tastes pretty good. If you've never tried dark chocolate, yeah. we were scared of it too in the start. We <laughs> thought it'd be really bitter, but it tastes really yeah, good. Because it was our first time. We went for um, lint because we figured that, oh, maybe, maybe it would be better because it's lint. And then what I did is I got one flavored one. So I did uh, sea salt. Yeah. So mine's like an organic sea salt. So we got a bit of like both of them to yeah. try. And it's great because now we have, and I think one's 75% and one's, one's 80. 80 yeah. So we have two different ones to try. One's a little bit smooth and nice, which is the lint. It's really delicious. And then the sea salt one gives us a little bit of a kick for when we want something different. And now you won't believe it, but we feel that even the dark chocolate, like we can taste the sweetness yeah. in the dark chocolate. Yeah. It's crazy. Maybe we're going crazy <laughs> we after doing all this. <laughs> like just an example, we went to our friend's Christmas party last week and they had cupcakes. Now, any normal day before last month, we would have had what? Two, three, because we were there for like six hours. Yeah, we would have had cupcakes. For we would have had two, three cupcakes. And I'm sure each cupcake's like 30 grams of sugar. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's that would have been lot, yeah. like three days worth of sugar within just a six couple hours. of hours, you know? Yeah. And we we come home and we reflect on it and and I guess give ourselves a pat on the back for not eating and also we feel proud that you know we're on this lifestyle change yeah and really making a difference yeah and you know I know it seems like because my parents know about this so do Drupad's parents or family because they mm -hmm. see the change when we go out for dinner or when we have parties and oftentimes they like I, I can see that they feel sorry for us you know because they're like oh no like the yeah. kids like they can't have sugar or you know but at this point we don't we don't miss it we don't no. feel like we're depriving ourselves when we when we first started i, I won't lie we were scared because we're like oh no this is going to be hard we're doing this during the holidays mm -hmm. you know we're going to be depriving ourselves i don't know if we'll be able to fight through but we've we've been doing good yeah yeah and yeah like it doesn't feel like we are holding ourselves back and that we're sad but like yeah like you said people around us feel like we are, but it really, <laughs> we love it. We yes. are enjoying life to the fullest, and internal happiness, I think, yeah, is at all time high right now. It's <laughs> so more pride because I think it's more pride. I yeah, think, I think I think we didn't think that we would be able to make it this far, to be honest, because we've tried this before. But this time around, we're making lifestyle changes, so we're not cutting sugar yeah. out completely. We're just choosing healthier alternatives, and yeah. and we're not choosing sugar substitutes either, yeah. but just a healthier lifestyle, which it's working really great. Yeah, knock knock on wood. Where is the wood? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll keep you guys updated. Uh, this was this is probably a four week uh, update. Yes, run. Yeah. So we'll probably do maybe in a few episodes time. We'll do another update. Another thing that D-Pad has wanted to start starting next Christmas is our contribution to the Edmonton Food Bank. Yeah. Yeah, tell us tell us more about what your thought process was with that. Yes, both uh, Unity and I, you know, we've always, 
you know, been discussing on how we can give back to the community and, and Onati, you know, being a nurse, she uh, really, you know, opened my horizons to on helping others and making a difference because she does that on a daily. Uh, so I figured that, you know, we should, how can we give back? So, you know, whether we can donate money, food, toys, um, or give our time, volunteer at a facility. So we figured that, you know, doing a food drive yeah. every Christmas, uh, gather up our family, friends, maybe our neighbors if they're interested, and really getting a food drive going and make it a yearly tradition that we can gather up a whole bunch of non-perishables and taking it and donating it to our local Edmonton Food Bank, Yeah, which we just learned, you know, if uh, somebody in need requires any food from Edmonton Food Bank, uh, they can make a phone call and the Edmonton Food Bank helps them with, I think, five to seven days worth of uh, worth of food, which is incredible. If you can make any, that type of a difference in anyone's yeah. life, um, I think food is something, you know, there's more food than how many humans are on this planet. So there's no reason that somebody should go to sleep hungry. And I think that's one that Unity and I, we yeah. both, uh, connect on and relate to and yeah. and that's an area I, th I, I think we would like to make a difference and the reason starting next year with our family and friends because only two days to go before Christmas it's uh, really last minute um, but regardless of that this year Onati and I are going to go uh, grocery shopping either tonight or tomorrow um, purchase a bunch of uh, non-perishables and donate it ourselves start that journey from this year for the both of us yeah, and then get our other our loved ones involved uh, starting next year. Yeah. yeah, our goal is to really fill up that island that we have in the middle. Hopefully next Christmas, yeah, filled of non perishables. So maybe we'll get our neighbors involved, and of course our friends and family that come over um, for Christmas. Yeah, that's pretty much what's uh, happening. Um, let us know if you liked this kind of an episode. This was a casual. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a podcast setting, but we're leading it up to the podcast. If you enjoyed this episode with us, just sitting casually, taking you through our life. Just a little chit-chat. Just a little <laughs> chit-chat. Put it in the comments below so yeah. we know that you're enjoying this and if this is something you want to see. Uh, it really helps us in uh, navigating which way, which direction to take our content in for you guys. Yeah. Wish you guys a Merry Christmas. And a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below with some feedback if you saw a thing or two that I can improve on or if I missed something that you want me to cover next time. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more regular content. This is just the beginning. Thank you.